We are back on NASCAR E3, going to do the Daytona 500 as uh, Jimmy Johnson here. Now, well, let's go to Daytona. These are going to be the settings. I'll show you them real quick. So, 105. Uh, we're going to do... I want to do 25%, but that might be a little bit too long for Daytona. That's like a 50-lap race. But then again, could be... We'll do two times normal wear. Daytona 500, two times normal wear. Actually, no, let's step it up. Three times normal wear. I'm always... I never decide what I want to do. I want to do many different things, but uh, gonna do stages as well. Uh, quick qualify. I'm gonna start at the back anyways. Uh, but here we go. This is gonna be a good test to see how the the plate racing is, uh, and it's gonna be Daytona 500. So let's see how this goes. Here we are at Daytona, the Great American Race, the World Center of Racing, and uh, there you see Jimmy Johnson. There he is. I think the beard. Gotta make that beard a little bit scruffier. But there we go. Look at that beautiful beard. That is. Jimmy, let's continue on. Now, for the setup, I would guess that since it's Daytona, I would want to be stable. Uh, so I'm going to go to uh, number two there. Not massively stable, but it should be... I don't, I don't think we should be s slower. We should be just fine staying in the throttle the entire time. So should be good there. Let's skip that and skip qualifying. And now let's go to the race. Daytona 500 2018. Here we go, Brad Keselowski qualified in first place. Who else do we have? Ty Dillon failed tech, so he's starting at the back along with us. And Trevor Bain failed the OSS multiple times, so he is starting at the back. And there we are, Jimmy Johnson. So we will be starting around 38th place. Green flag is about to come out, and there it is. Green flag is out, and the crowd is going wild, and we can actually look at them, as you can see. <laughs> we, can, we can do that, we can look at them. And uh, let's see what I really like. I'm going to be using this look around camera a lot. Like, a lot. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's a cool camera. If you push it to the left when you're by the wall, you can just basically look down on your car. That is pretty cool. Okay, so let me turn on my camera. Or uh, mirror. There we go. I almost said camera. There we go, mirror. We have 14 laps of fuel. Six laps in this stage. So I think we can go the first two stages without pitting. But then after that, we will have to pit. And uh, we're going already 202, 203, 203 miles per hour getting up to speed. That is uh, pretty crazy. And they are three wide up towards, almost four wide. I see them coming out of turn four, almost four wide. So that is, that's pretty good. I want to see if we can uh, get up there and battle with them. I see my teammate William Byron up here as well. Let's see if we can make some passes. Again, this is the hardest difficulty, so it should be a little bit difficult. I think I just hit the cone. I think I just damaged the orange cone. I'm so sorry, orange cone. I'll send an apologetory uh, rose or something like that. Oh, someone's getting loose in the middle of the track. That is Corey LaJoy. Let's put on the leaderboard. Oh, I got names. All right, good. I got first and last names for the leaderboard. That is nice, so that way I really can't mess up anyone's name. We are getting side drafted right now by Corey LaJoy, and he's doing a pretty good job, but there we go. We're able to pull away behind Gray Golding. I'm going to try to sneak down here, give him a little bit of a tap. Car is pretty stable. He gets a little bit loose, and it seems like we don't have that much of a draft. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. All right, we're going to come back on track, going to come back on track. Don't worry about us. And the AI gave me room there. That's really good. Okay, uh, pretty impressed already in the first couple of laps here, but this is definitely a lot of fun. They are three wide in front of us. There is a group of about, I would say, nine, ten cars up there towards the front. Slightly pulling away. We're going to get underneath Trevor Bain. We got a good run there. Now we have to get in William Byron's draft. I'm trying to feel the effects of that. I'm trying to get that pull. There we go. Now we're in the draft of, I think that's Greg Alden right in front of us. So we are three wide and beautiful. Let's try to get underneath Galding. Don't go across the yellow line. I think we're good. I don't think I'm going to get a black flag there. I might, but I don't think I will. And there we go. Now let's try to get underneath William Byron. And we don't really have a draft, though, so this is not really going to work out. Trying to side draft Willie B, my teammate. He is getting squeezed in the middle. And we are just... Oh, now I'm getting side drafted. Okay, side draft is definitely pretty big here. And I lose the ground a little bit. Still getting side drafted a tiny bit. You can feel when you get side drafted as the, there's a vibration in your controller. When you get side drafted, that vibration goes away, so definitely feel when I get side drafted and I'm trying to stay away from that two laps to go in the first stage Let's see if we could make that move again on William Byron I, I don't think that's legal <laughs> I'm really pushing it I don't know if I am crossing the line hit the apron there a little bit let's slide up in front of William Byron to get him back we are clear of Busher as well they are three wide behind us but it is definitely difficult to get up towards the front here 
Still trying to maintain ground. Just got to do it nice and patiently here. Now we're behind Brennan Gone. Coming to the last lap of stage one. Staying in the draft. They're checking up a little bit up in front of us. Almost like four wide there in the middle of turn one and two. And that's going to bring us up towards them. Now it's three wide throughout the field. Coming to the final lap of stage one. Not going to take any risks here. Just follow our teammate Alex Bowman. Getting side drafted heavily here a little bit. I can feel it. There go. The 55 is going backwards. Going to try. Nope. That's not going to work. I said they want to take a risk. Let's block William Byron here for a second. We're going to finish the stage in 32nd place. Uh, not bad. Uh, we have speed in the car. We can get up there. I know that for a fact. But we just got to be a little bit patient here. Let's see if anyone pits. There are people pitting. Maybe the next stage is a little bit longer than I think. So we will pit. But uh, I don't want to take a lot of fuel. I'm just going to take half a can because we're going to have to pit again. Pro Actually, no. Let's take, let's take a one can. One can's good. And we have 20 seconds left. Let's take no tires. I think I'm good on the tires. We don't need to repair any damage. Put the tape up just a little bit. I don't think we're overheating. So we're going to put that up. And everything looks good. There's percentages here that are like that. Hopefully, we gain some spots here. And we do. Up 20 positions. Hey, that no tire strategy, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do it. So, hopefully, uh, we are not in too much trouble here with that strategy. Hopefully, we can make it on fuel. 14 laps left on fuel. I think, I think everyone has to pit one more time. So, that should be interesting. Seven laps in this stage. And let's see what we can do. We got a really good restart here. Going to the high side of Kevin Harvick and Austin Dillon. But we have no one in front of us. It's kind of going to hurt. There we go. Now we can get into, uh, behind Kyle Busch. He's going to check up. We're going to try and squeeze up here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nope, not going to work. Not going to work. Okay. Stay behind Bush. Let's go into the hood view. Trying to side draft Kyle. Oh, Kevin Harvick. And now we got to check up a little bit. Now Logano's going to go low. We're going to block Logano. Everything is pretty nice and dandy. Bush looks like he might go through the middle. I want to kind of follow him. I want to work this uh, high side a little bit. See if we can get through going on the middle. But we can't do anything at the moment. We got Ricky Stenhouse Jr. behind us. That's a uh, good omen. Please don't turn me in the middle of three and four, I beg. Let's see if we can get in the middle here. Just like that. Squeeze in there. Oh, nope, we're good. All right, that's risky, but it works. And let's see if we can squeeze through the middle of Boyer and Harvick. And in NASCAR Heat Evolution, that would have been a wreck. But luckily, NASCAR Heat 3, we have the improvements. Now let's go down to the bottom. Oh, there's no draft. No draft. All right, back up here. Back up here. We have a run on Dylan. I should probably just push him. I want to... No, he's checking up a little bit. Never mind. Actually, no, let's push him. Let's push him. All right, let's go to that hood view. We're going to give Dylan a little bit of a tap here. And we are hooked up, moving up towards the front. Will Dylan make a move? No, nope, probably has to, we have to check up now. Okay, we got, I almost wanted to say Ryan Blaney to our right side, because uh, I was thinking of him in the 21, but that is Paul Menard to our right. We're going to get underneath Austin Dillon, but we don't really have any momentum here on the straightaway. Still in P8, still doing a good job, though. A few laps to go in this stage. I'm looking for that gap in the middle. I'm peeking, but we don't really have a run. I want to get where Eric Alvarola is. Make that gap work. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Whoa, 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 Menard! Whoa, Menard, Menard, whoa, whoa. D does he have a flat tire? Does he have a flat tire back there? What's going on Paul Menard? He is just screeching his tires. Is he okay? Nope, he, he has a flat tire. Paul Menard has a flat tire. You can see him back there. He is just in the wall dead. Is he good now? I never touched him. I'm trying to... Is he good? I think he's good. I've been looking back for the last half lap. We have to make a move on Austin Dillon. Oh, almost hit him there. But we are in good position. Now we're behind Martin Truex Jr. Oh, a little tap with Austin Dillon, but we are fine. Behind Truex and Brad Keselowski in the lead. Let's try and win this stage. But we're going to need some help to do it. Block Eric Amarola here. And Truex gets blocked. We're going to have a good run. Let's see if we could do something with it. But currently just have to stay in line. Three laps to go. Truex has gotten around Kozlowski. We're going to follow Truex with two laps to go left in the stage. Just going to try and get around Kozlowski, get clear. And then we have to find a way to get a run on Truex. Don't have one yet. Let's stay right behind him. Try to give him a push. Now he's just going to pull away there in the center of the corner. That's fine. Oh, I'm on the apron. And that slowed me down big time. I hit the apron and that really halted the momentum. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Hold on. We're going to come back. Oh, Okay, that was almost a big wreck.
last lap of the final, or first, second stage. I, I basically said everything wrong there except second stage. Final lap of the second stage. We're going to try and get back to where we were. Going to have to be very patient here. Maybe give Kozlowski a bump, get him out of the way there. Don't hit the apron. That will definitely hurt us. Try to stay in Almirola's draft. Get a push from somewhere. Hopefully Boyer can give me a push. Do you want to give me a nope? Gonna get oh there we go, Kazati checks up. Looks like it might be a third place finish here in the second stage, which is good unless I could get around Almarola, which I don't think we will. It should be a third place finish. Truex will win the stage. Stage winner, MTJ. And uh, the rest of the field there's a lot of cars back there. Oh wait, Almarola! Nope, I think Truex got it. Truex definitely got it. Yeah, he did. Alright. So, end of the second stage. Now, I think we all have to pit. I might have to take four tires here. Uh, probably going to. Yeah, the tires are getting a little bit worn. The car is getting a little bit iffy. Um, I'm going to add some more. I'm going to risk this. I'm going to go 50%, mainly because we just need a little bit more speed. Uh, but we do need four tires. Let's uh, put one can of fuel in there. That's what we need. And hopefully we don't lose too many spots. Uh, wait, no, that's... Where are we? 21st, we lose 18 spots, but there are a lot of guys that gained one. We're next to Danica Patrick. Where are the guys we raced with? Are they still up there? Yeah, they're up there, so they must have taken probably no tires. That put us in 21st place with nine laps to go. Let's see how this goes. What's our uh, temperatures? I'm looking at the temps. Oil temp 194. This is a good learning experience to see can I put more tape on in the future. We need that little bit more speed. But for now, we got to be a little bit risky here. We're going to have to push the issue with only nine laps to go to get up towards the front. So let's see if we can do that. Casey Kane to our right. And he's going to side draft us just a little bit. We're going to get away from that. Get to the bottom of Reagan if possible. And we do. There we go. That's going to be the move that gets us back up towards the front. We have Denny Hamlin in front of us now. Hopefully he doesn't come down. He does not. They're three wide as well up there. Chase Elliott looks like he's in the middle, but now he's not. And we're in a pretty good position. Eight laps to go in the stage. Let's go back to the bottom here underneath Ryan Newman. And we should be able to make the pass. Looking at that oil temp, it's at 221, 222. That's good temps. Probably could put it a little bit higher. As long as it keeps rising, not to terrible lengths. If it gets up to like 270, 280, that might be pretty bad. But right now... It is pretty good. Oh, no, it's not. 225. 225 is the temp. The temp, we might be... Oh, okay. 50 might be too much. We might need clean air here soon. Uh, the temperatures are rising. I might blow up. Uh, this is going to be interesting. This might be a problem. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, this is a problem. This is a problem. Oh, we're wrecking. We're wrecking. Oh no! Oh my! Okay! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh my! I'm I'm pretty sure someone's dead up there. Someone is definitely dead up there. There, I saw a car barrel rolling, and I think that's Suarez sitting there on the pit lane. I'm going in circles. Okay, once you go in the grass, there's no coming back, guys. And uh, the damage model, we could see that. Let's pit. Let's take this tape down. We're going to go back to 40%. That was not working. And uh, that's probably going to be the end of the race for us in terms of winning it. But, man, what a wreck. Green flag is back out. Let's try to salvage something. There are cars with a lot of damage. We have Larson back there. I'm trying to get a good look of that damage. The hood is all wrinkled up. Eric Jones, the rear end, all wrinkled up. I think William Byron has damage, too. We, our car looks magical. We fixed it up. But uh, everyone else, pretty bad damage, and they're able to keep up, though. So let's see if we could just maybe get a... How many laps we got? Four laps? Top 30? I think top 30 would be a realistic goal if we could get up there. I don't think the aerodynamics on that 20 car looks very good, but uh, he's still going over 200 miles per hour, so very impressive, Eric Jones. But we are uh, going to struggle here to get into the top 30. Once you get back in the back, uh, back, in the <laughs> back of the pack, uh, it is much more difficult to make your way up towards the front. I think when you're in the middle of the pack, you're actually in the draft a lot more, and you're able to get up there. So definitely very interesting with the plate racing. I actually really like it. This is pretty good. But unfortunately, that one wreck, uh, I got on the grass, and 
there was no saving it at that point. Once you go in the grass, there's just no coming back from that. So, good clear move there. Trying to get up to the top 30. I think we might be able to do it. Oh, caution came out. Uh, maybe debris? I don't know what happened there. But I think it was debris or something. So, we're going to have another restart. And hopefully get into the top 30 here. Let's get a good run. Get to the bottom. Squeeze. There we go. Squeeze them up. Get in that draft. And there we go. In the top 30. That's where I wanted to be. Two laps to go. Looks like the leader. I'm trying to get in Huffy. The leader is... I can't tell who that is, but I'm going to squeeze my way in here. Thank you very much. Let's squeeze our way in there. Thank you very much. Nope. Now I have no draft. Okay. So we got to force our way back up. There we go. Hi, Danica. Hey, Danica. Aggressive move. Oh, no. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. Thank you for giving me room, guys. Appreciate it. And now we're almost out of the top 30. Not what I wanted. White flag in the Daytona 500. We are not in contention to win, but I'm trying to get the best finish I can. But it was probably going to be pretty tough to pass the leader. Uh, especially, I was going to blow up anyway, so that caution didn't come out because of the tape. So let's go through the middle here. And we're going to bounce off some cars. And looks like getting 10. That's not good. Oh, oh my goodness. I just okay. digged in the grass. Like Michael Waltrip, 2003, I think it was. No, wait, didn't he win that Daytona 500? Wait, no, which Daytona was that? Was that 2000? Now I'm lost. I don't remember which Daytona 500 it was. I think it was 2003. I don't know. Wait, no, that wasn't 2003. <laughs> I, I don't know my Daytona 500 history. I digged in the grass there, and oh my god. I felt that. Like, I felt it in the screen. I felt it. Can I? I need to. Let's, let's go to the replay here. And let's go to full replay. Let's go to the end of the race. Let's reverse this. Let's, can we see that in re? That is insane. Okay, let's get a good view of this. So we're coming. We get turned there. Now, let's see if I can get a. Okay, this, this should be a good view. Jeez. I just dug into the grass. Oh my god. God, that is insane. I'm trying to see who won the race. It looks like, who's that? That Clint Boyer? Looks like Boyer was in the lead when we went flipping. Oh my goodness. And then we're just on our roof. And there we are. Poor Jimmy. Uh, the G-Force from that impact must have been pretty hard. Eric Jones is sitting there in the infield. I think DJ Kennington's back there as well. Or that's Corey LeDraw. I don't know which one anymore. But uh, our car's damaged, and uh, yeah, that's the Daytona 500 for you guys. We got a speed rating of 103, and that was that. So, Timmy Hill had the fastest lap. But uh, that was the Daytona 500 gameplay, Daytona gameplay here on NASCAR Heat 3. If you guys like the video, make sure to like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you want to see anything else, uh, let me know. Let me know what you want to see, what kind of gameplay. Uh, that was definitely fun. I, I think that was... Definitely pretty cool, and I'm still kind of shocked by that hit into the grass. Like, my car went from about 170 to about 50 in the span of a millisecond. G-Force, ladies and gentlemen, not, not, that doesn't feel good. Austin Dillon, uh, 2015 Daytona <laughs> into the fence. But I'll see you guys later. I hope you are having a fantastic day. And uh, make sure you comment down below what you want to see. And subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.